I choose you, Charmander, go! <laughs> Welcome to my Charmander inspired makeup tutorial and style transformation. My name is Alexa and here we go! Of course, I'm going to start by wearing my Charmander Kigu, which I practically live in. It is the most comfortable thing on this planet. Mine is from kawaiikigu.com. They have a huge selection of all kinds of characters, but of course, I chose Charmander because he's the best. Charmander's eyes seem to change colors from blue to green depending on what version you look at. While I think they are usually blue, I am going to wear green contacts to match the Charmander on my Kigu and on the shirt that I'm going to be wearing later on in this video. I'm going to start my makeup application by putting concealer around my eyes and blending it in with my fingers. If you get too much concealer, you can always just blend it around to anywhere you may want a little bit of extra coverage. Now I am going to apply foundation all over my face. Uh, again with my fingers because that's just how I like to apply it, but you can use a brush or any other method of applying foundation. Now I am going to set my foundation and reduce any shine by applying a powder on top of my foundation. I have started carrying this powder with me everywhere because I love it. It is L'Oreal's True Match Super Blendable Powder and it is awesome. Next up is eyeshadow primer to prep our eyelids for eyeshadow. Just apply to the eyelids, blend it in, and let it dry a little bit. Now we get to start the fun part by adding color to our eyelids. I am going to use Maybelline Color Tattoo Pure Pigments in Wild Gold. It is like a yellowish gold color which is the perfect base for this eyeshadow look. Then I will come in with the second eyeshadow color which will be orange and apply it from the middle of the lid out towards the outer corner of the eye. This will give it that fiery look, which if you're watching this video, you probably already know Charmander is all about. Now I will just use a white eyeshadow to pop a highlight in along my brow bone. Then using my favorite liquid liner, I am going to create a winged eyeliner look. The easiest way I have found to do winged eyeliner is to just draw a diagonal line out from the outer corner of your eye up towards the end of your eyebrow and then draw another line that connects it to your eyeliner and then you just color in that little winged shape that is created when you connect those two lines. Now I'm going to use that wing as a guide for where I want to apply my black eyeshadow. Work the black eyeshadow in up along the wing, kind of up and outwards towards the eyebrow, and then blend it in for that smoky eye type look. You can't have fire without smoke. If you get color on your eyeliner, you can always go over it again to darken it back up. Now I'm going to put on some mascara while I decide where I want to go next with this look. If you want to create a sharper edge for your makeup, this is a really easy way to do it. Just grab a makeup remover wipe and wrap it around your finger and then wipe off any excess shadow that may cause your eyeshadow to not look as sharp. Then you can go back in with concealer and fill in what you just wiped off. For my bottom eyeliner, I'm going to split it between white and black. I'm going to use white eyeliner on the inner corner of my eye and about halfway across my waterline and then I'm going to come in with black and fill it in the rest of the way. I like doing the split eyeliner look because the white eyeliner still gives you that wide-eyed awake look but the black liner ties it in to the heavier eyeshadow on the top lid. Now I'm going to use my liquid liner underneath my waterline to complete the eye shape. Then I will use the same gold shimmery eyeshadow to outline what I've done underneath the bottom here and out along the wing. This just gives it a little extra pop of color that I think is kind of fun. And I'm just going to add some to the inner corner for good measure. Now finally <laughs> I'm doing my eyebrows. I am just using a dark brown eyeshadow to fill them in, but you can use 
whatever you like to use to fill in your brows. There are lots of good eyebrow waxes and colors and dips and powders and all kinds of things to fill in your brows, so just do whatever you like to do for your eyebrows. Since the fiery, smoky eye is kind of a sassier look, I think that Deluxe Whiplash Attack is the perfect eyelash for this look. After applying lash glue to the band, wait about 20 to 30 seconds or however long it takes the glue to get tacky, and then apply the lash as close to the lash line as you possibly can. I like to use a damp q-tip to secure the lashes. It has been a while since I've done under lashes, so I thought I would use Doll Lux Under Lash B for this look. I've trimmed them in half here so they're just on the outer corners of my eye. It can take a little bit of practice to get the hang of under lashes, but they can be a really cute addition to any dramatic eye. I have just discovered ELF's Essential All Over Color Stick and I am currently obsessed with it. You can use it all over your face, on your lips, wherever, but I love it as a blush because it has kind of a iridescent, like glowy kind of look and it just looks really healthy and flattering on the cheeks. It also only costs a dollar, so that's cool. Just dab it on and blend it in with your fingers. Easy. Finally, I'll finish off this makeup look with a red lipstick. I guess there comes a time where you have to change out of your Kigurumi into this cool Charmander outfit. Of course, you guys know my outfits are not complete without a super cool wig, so I am going to tie my hair back and throw on a wig cap to prep for a wig. This wig is the most perfect fire wig I have ever seen. It is from the Triflect collection from Rockstar Wigs. It is called Screaming Crimson. And not only is it perfect for this Charmander look, it is also perfect for any fire character that you could want to cosplay or incorporate into your daily fashion. And now just a few more accessories like this Charmander bow from Kawaii Blavie, and we're almost done. The only thing left now is these freaking amazing hand-painted Charmander Evolution shoes. These were hand-painted for me by the artist Catherine Lapointe. I will link her shop below because you guys have got to check her out. She is so, so, so talented. It's crazy. This brings me to my finished Charmander-inspired look. I hope you like it. guys so much for watching this Charmander inspired look. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for behind the scenes photos and lots more content. And if you like this video, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I think you guys are all so perfect and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Mwah.